I've spent so much time building myself up spiritually, physically, mentally. I'm on semen intention. The Bible says out of a thousand men, only one was found righteous. I'm a righteous man. So basically, I'm a 0.01% man. If a girl's playing games, if a girl isn't giving me 100%, if she's not putting effort in, if she's holding back, if she's just not being the kind of woman that I want, or she's trying to control me, manipulate me, whatever, bro, I'm done. I don't give second chances. I'm not going to go out of my way to fix you. It's your job to come to me healed. So if a woman is jerking you around or just playing games and being all wishy-washy, bro, cut her off. We want a woman that doesn't hold back. We want a woman that's not playing games. We want a woman that's authentic. If she likes you, she'll show it. She'll make an effort. She'll call you. She'll text you. She'll ask you questions. She'll get to know you. That's what we want in a woman. Because as a man, we treat people how we want to be treated. So if I like this woman, if I think she's a genuine woman, if I think she's a possibly a godly woman, or I see myself with her potentially as my wife, then I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to go out of my way. I'm going to try my best. So if she messes things up, this is what I can say. I can say, I tried my best. I don't care what happens. I'm not at fault. And that is how I live my, my life. I go all out. I try my best. I put in effort. I give it 100% because if it doesn't work out, I know it's not my fault. I know it's not on my hands. I gave it my all. What else can I do? What else can I say? That's the mindset we have to get to because as a godly man, we have to put our time, energy, focus on advancing the kingdom. Not trying to get a woman that doesn't like me interested in me. Not trying to change a woman. Not trying to lead a woman to God. Now we can plant the seed, but we can't make her become born again. We can't do that. Like I've spent so much time, so much energy, so much emotion, so much pain. And it's caused me so much damage being hung up on women that don't care about me, being hung up on women that could care less if I never talk to them again. So now I'm at this point that, okay, I see a cute girl. She doesn't seem like a thought. She seems like a, a good quality woman. I want to get to know her. Okay, I send out a DM. I approach her in public. And I leave it at that. I feel I fill out the situation. If, if you leave me on open, okay, I'm done. If we have a conversation and... You don't really vibe well with me when I mention the Bible or you're not a godly woman. Okay, I'm done. I mean, it's that easy, guys. It's that easy. We don't have to spend all this time texting a woman, all this time just BSing around. No, I make it known now. Look, I'm a man of God. I'm looking for a godly woman to worship the most high with. Would you be interested in doing a Bible study? That's what I do, man. And then if we go out on the Bible study, okay, I'll get to know you. We'll worship God. We'll talk about the Bible. Okay, that's a very fulfilling feeling when you're attracted to a woman and you guys do a Bible study. One of the most fulfilling feelings on this planet, man. I will tell you, it feels amazing. You have to experience it. Because once you experience it, you just can't go back to these surface level women. You just can't go back to these worldly women. It's like, man, we don't connect on anything. They're all superficial, materialistic, and I'm the complete opposite. So how can we connect? We can't. We honestly cannot connect. So I know a lot of women these days, man, they've got a roster of men, you know, texting. To, I don't even know at this point. I had this one, I knew this one girl at the gym I used to go to, and she showed me her phone, and on Snapchat, it was dozens of unopened Snapchats. Dozens of open Snapchats leaving men on open. So depending on the woman, bro, it, it varies, but let's say a dozen to two dozen men texting her. You know, it's twice as many single young men than single young women. So for one single young woman, it's two young men. Yeah. A girl probably is texting, a single girl is probably texting like a dozen to two dozen men probably. Most of those guys she's not even interested in. Out of those guys, she's probably interested in like two of them. And the other 20-some, she's just using for attention because it gives her something to do. It makes her feel good. It's the validation. That's just how it is, man. That's the world we live in. I mean, even these so-called godly women, I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really met one. That's the thing. Like, I haven't really met one like that. And I would say even, that, even a lot of them would be texting other men, too, because, like, they're single. And, like, I just, I really haven't met a young woman my age 
that's like sold out to God. I just haven't. <laughs> I really haven't. And it and it makes sense because the Bible says out of a thousand women, no righteous women were found. It, it really makes sense, man. It does. Now, I'm not saying there's no righteous women. No, there is. But most of them realize at a young age, okay, I, I come from a healthy family. That's what I want. Oh, shoot, I'm 16. Oh, shoot, I'm 17. Yeah, let me let me settle that. Oh, this seems like a good quality guy. You know, he seems like he's ambitious. He seems like he's motivated. He seems like he's got goals. You know, let me settle down with him. Let me let me get in a relationship with him or let me get in a courtship with him, you know, and build with him. And then they get married at like 21, 22. That's how, that's what the, the good quality women do, man. Now, not all of them do that. You know, some of them don't become born again until, I don't know, 20, 21, 22, 30, 40, who knows, man. But I'm talking like the majority realize and prioritize getting that good quality man because they just like that traditional role of a woman. They like be living that role. You know, that's all they know. That's what they see in their family. So like mother, like daughter, you know, that's what the Bible says. I got some like stuff in my eye. That's what the Bible says. So she's a, if her mother is a good quality woman, you know, a follower of God, then the, the daughter will probably be like that too. Nine out of 10 chance. But that's just something us guys got to get to. Like the Bible even says, do not use your strength on women. Okay. So yeah. See a cute woman. Hey, what's, what's going on? DM her, approach her in public, whatever you got to do. But if she's not reciprocating, if she's not trying, if she's just kind of nonchalant, no enthusiasm, okay, leave her alone. She don't mess with you. You're a king. You're a lord. The Bible said, you know, women used to call men that in the Bible back then. They respected men. They called them lord. You know, that's what they did. They bowed. <laughs> Ruth bowed down to bows. Ruth was a loyal woman. She did what she was told. She didn't fight back. She didn't argue. She didn't cause drama. She did what she was told. She went the extra mile. That's what a good quality woman does, bro. She helps you. She helps out around the house. That's who she is. And she takes pride in doing so because she knows that my man is out busting his butt. My man is out grinding. My man is out, you know, sweating, putting in the hours to feed me, to feed my family. He loves me. He cares about me. He wants the best for me. He's out in the field. He's doing the, the heavy lifting. I'm going to, you know, do like I do at home. And I'm going to be thankful. I'm appreciative. You know, we all have a job to do. Why? We all have a job to do. That doesn't mean she's below him. That doesn't mean he's above her. No, they're equal. They just have different jobs they have to do. Now, in the spiritual realm, the man is above the woman because God said, first, it's the father, then it's Christ, then it's the man, then it's the woman, then it's the children. Okay, that's the spiritual realm. But in the physical we're all equal, man. We're all human beings. We all have jobs to do, but they're different jobs. Okay, that's just how God made us. A man's not above a woman. A woman's not above man. Okay, we all have jobs to do. That's how God made us. That's how all of humankind has been up until the recent years. I mean, real talk. And you're trying to go against that. And now society's all out of whack. Now sin is rampant like never before. Man, I'm just saying. It's just something to to pay attention to and to take note of. But I see time and time again, and I was guilty of this too, bro. I thought, oh, she's special. Oh, man, she's beautiful. Oh, she'll change. You know, she just needs to get to know me. No, she won't, bro. She will not change. If she's not making it easy from the get-go, you do not want to be with her, man. She's probably got some baggage. She's probably got some damage she got to heal. She's probably got to get right with God and is not going to work out. It's only going to leave you in pain in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, whatever, man. When she ghosts you, when she flakes on you, when she just suddenly stops contacting you and you have no idea why. And then you think you're the problem. But in reality, she just met another dude or got bored, whatever the case is, bro. That's just how it is today. And I would say 90 some percent of men and women both belong to the world, especially young adults, man. Young, so many young adults are lost. They don't follow any belief. They don't, they just, bro, they just live life. All they care about is satisfying themselves and feeling good. That's it. So that is what we are going up against. If you get 
And, 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 and probably you get to the point that I'm kind of that and just giving up. Just saying, hey, like, I trust God. I'm going to seek the kingdom and his righteousness. And I know that all things will be added unto me. And then you just live life. Okay. If I see a attractive woman that is looking at me in public and I think, okay, you know, maybe she's a godly woman. Let me say what's up. No sweat off my back. I'll take a couple minutes and approach her. Hey, how's it going? No sweat. I mean, what am I losing? I'm not losing money. I'm not losing much time. You know, I'm losing, okay, five minutes. So what? I'll just make my poop on the toilet not as long. Five minutes. Okay. Opposed to like, hey, you know, let's go out. I want to get to know you, blah, blah, blah. Then we meet out and I spend like, I don't know, 20 bucks on Starbucks or 35 bucks on Chipotle. An hour of my time just talking about, oh, yeah. You know, what do you want to do when you get out of college? Oh, yeah. okay. Just talk about dumb stuff that makes no sense. Like, I don't care. I want to know. You know, what do you want in it? What do you... <laughs> I want to know what your, what your favorite Bible verse is, what your favorite book in the Bible is, you know, what you're working towards with God, what kind of goals you have. Are you a healed woman? Like, I'm going to get deep, bro. Are you a healed woman? Do you have any addictions? Do you pray to God daily? You know, what does your walk with God look like? That's what I'm going to do. Do you have a good relationship with your mom and dad? What does your past look like? Now, not like in a sense of, of oh, how many guys? You know, just like, what led you to God? Are you healed? What are you battling with? How can I help you? How can we grow together in faith? Look, I'm, I see potential in you. If things go well, one day you will be my wife because I'm not dating just to date. I'm not dating for a seasonal relationship. I'm not trying to get to know you just to get heartbroken in six months. I'm looking to build with you. How can I help you? What do you want in life, in a family? Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? That's what I'm going to do, bro. I'm going to get deep. Because I am who I am. I'm a man on senior attention. I'm a healed man. And I am who I am. I'm authentic. My tone of voice, my eye contact, my body language, it all, it all um, communicates confidence. It all communicates authenticity. It all communicates just me being serious about what I'm asking. Not putting on a front not using some line I saw on YouTube. No, it's coming from the heart. And the vibe I give off, the energy I give off will say that. So she's not going to hold back. She's going to be for real, bro. She's, she may be put off by it because no guy has ever communicated with her like that. But that's how it's going to be. So, do not put up with her BS. She's not making it easy. If she's putting it on the front, putting it on the act, and just being inauthentic, cut her off stop talking to her save yourself the, the the pain the damage the time the money the energy the focus the overthinking save yourself from it all and just stop texting her like comment what you want to see next i'll see you next time